a horrific video of a homeless woman giving birth in broad daylight on a San Francisco sidewalk as others attempt to assist her has surfaced online. The event took place in San Francisco's Tenderloin District, which is famed for being overrun by drug-addicted homeless people on Geary Street, directly adjacent to Union Square. On Thursday, a lady gave birth to a kid in public view, according to the San Francisco Fire Department. But because of privacy restrictions, they were unable to confirm if the woman in the video is the same as the one mentioned in their statement. In the viral video, the mother can be seen trying to cradle the baby while laying on her side with her trousers pulled down. In the video, there are two other individuals at the woman's side. One guy who is wearing a baseball cap and holding out his cell phone kneels next to her as the baby emerges while the other is standing over the tragic event. Before its mother reaches to scoop the sobbing baby up with a piece of cloth, it is lying on the pavement covered in the filth of its birth. The guy holding the smartphone can be heard saying, Just relax, the ambulance will come here. In the video, in the background of the video, more onlookers can be seen. The unsettling footage was published on Sunday by the PBV Tahoe's news journalist Twitter account. According to the San Francisco Fire Department, a lady gave birth to a kid on Thursday in public view. A government official said, The public view is an area seen by the public like a sidewalk. The mother and child were both sent to a nearby hospital in good health. Public view births are uncommon, but do occur sometimes, the San Francisco Standard, which covered the fire department's remark, said. A lady left her newborn boy on the pavement in 2007, and a stillborn child was found in a porta potty in a city-approved homeless camp last year. The District 5 in San Francisco, where the lady in the video gave birth, is run by Dean Preston, a self-described democratic socialist and former tenant lawyer. According to his campaign website, he thinks that universal programs like Medicare for All, social housing, and free education would enable everyone to live a dignified, fruitful, and healthy life. Daily Mail has contacted Preston's office about the event shown above. San Francisco's public policies have continuously enabled a population of homeless people, drug addicts, and mentally ill people to proliferate and rule the city. In addition, the issue of violent crime in the city is becoming worse. This week, IETA executive Robert Lee became the latest murder victim in the city. According to the official government census, which is done every three years, San Francisco had approximately 8,000 homeless persons in February of last year, which was the second highest number of any year since 2005. Since the most recent count, it has most likely grown significantly. Liberal politicians and local authorities have tried to enact a variety of laws to address the myriad problems brought on by the growing numbers of drug addicts and homeless people. The creation of the Tenderloin Center last year, which was intended to assist ease the city's drug and homelessness crises, is one particular harm reduction strategy that failed. It was designed to be a secure location where addicts could get high without being robbed or worrying about tragically overdosing at a hefty public expense of $22 million. While only 18 of the more than 23,000 persons who were welcomed to the site's first four months of existence were referred to support centers, users were also supposed to be guided there. Less than 1% of visits overall resulted in a completed connection to mental health services. Despite their best efforts, San Francisco saw more than 500 overdose deaths in 2022. 641 was the amount in 2021. Many people who live on the streets struggle with severe diseases that are often made worse by drug use. A homeless lady who had both of her feet amputated last month due to an ailment for which onlookers encouraged her to get medical attention was seen on camera. J.J. Smith, a citizen journalist, captured the distressing initial tape of the lady rejecting treatment for her injured feet on February 6th. It seems the lady disregarded his counsel since she was seen showing up in a wheelchair with stumps in a tragic follow-up post on March 30th. The wild-eyed lady who looks to be foaming at the mouth in the video from February declines the videographer's offer to take her to the hospital to have the infection from both of her feet treated. He responds, let me get you to the hospital. She responds, no, 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 and settles herself in a heap of filth. If you don't solve it, your foot is sick going to be chopped off, said Smith. She said, I guarantee it will be corrected. The reason for the woman's ailment has not been disclosed in further detail.